I am Diana Richardson. I am a New York State Assembly member. I proudly represent Crown Heights, Prospect Lefters Gardens, and East Flatbush sections of Brooklyn. That's correct. I'm also a proud daughter of immigrants, a lifelong Brooklynite, and a mom of my beautiful 12-year-old son, Isaac Bowen Jr. Please stand, Isaac. Let me add here, he was also my deputy campaign manager. All right. I'm also a history maker because I am proud, I am truly proud to be the first person elected to the New York State Legislature solely on the Working Families Party line. We had to fight, we had to fight, and we did it. I am someone who has fought for everything I've ever had. I am someone who has fought for change my entire life. The local Democrats didn't want someone like me. Listen to my voice, it's very strong. It's not easy to push me around. But another party did. That's my party. It is the Working Families Party. I'm also someone who has seen my neighborhood change before my eyes. Bad landlords and greedy developers look around and they don't see homes, they don't see families. All they see is dollar signs. Rising rents and luxury towers have been forcing people out of my community, people who have lived there their entire lives. I grew up in affordable housing, and that is disappearing very fast. I'm also a mom who sends my son to his neighborhood school. Even though it is severely underfunded and is getting thousands of dollars less per student than richer school districts. I'm someone who has paid my way and worked very hard to get my master's degree, but it was only possible because I was able to get free childcare for my son at the college campus. Something that is so unaffordable to so many parents. I'm someone who marched for $15 and a union on Tuesday in New York, and I stood in the rain. I saw you, Mary Kay. <laughs> I'm someone who has stood up to racially biased policing. But here's what I've learned. All of these movements, they're very connected. It is my neighbors, the people who can't afford to pay their rent. It is my neighbors who get a lot more attention than they want from the cops and a lot less attention than they deserve from the government. Economic, yes, that's right. Economic justice and racial justice, voting rights and the right to an education, they all go hand in hand because they are all about lifting people up and letting our people be free. This is why I am so thrilled that in just one minute, I am going to introduce to you one of our nation's most incredible movement builders, the honorable, you're honorable to me, Reverend William Barber II. <laughs>